Hey, tubers, I'm back. So now we're going to get into the wooden part of the project, which is great. And all we have to do is transfer. Pardon me, I talk too much, but that's the way it is, eh? We have to transfer this angle to our 2x8. And I've already transferred that angle to the saw, as you can see. And there's our beautiful 2x8 that I, uh, I purchased at a local lumber supply shop. It's 12 feet long. It'll be just perfect. I'll have about 2 inches left chunk in the middle when I'm done. So I'll do the cutting and then we'll see how we're doing. Well, I'm back. The kit came with uh, four carriage bolts with nylon threaded nuts, which is nice because they won't spin out. And they'll fit the two holes. And now we're just going to pick out a drill bit and uh, head out and drill it and mount the brackets. We'll start with 3 8 So let's go have a look and see what we've done outside. Yes, this is what Canada looks like. Red Deer, Alberta. Anybody who has... Uh, seen my snowblower videos know that I I like to cut paths through my yard there's one over here to that black compost bin over there there's my nice deck there's another trial trail sorry over to the entrance to the yard where the uh, trailer used to sit anyway change of subject I digress. So there's my angle cut. And that's going to mount from the bottom just like that. So my wife tells me that I am too long in my verbal descriptions. And my friend called me wordy. But I think he meant worldly, I really do. So anyway, over and out, I'll get this uh, drilling simple, just to drill two holes to match up with, with that. And then I'm gonna cut it, whoops, then I'll cut it to the right length. So yes, from your wordy uh, BTH V1, bye. Hey YouTubers, I'm back. So you're not gonna believe this, but this is all the wood I had left. So that's cutting it pretty close. I knew it was going to be close, but not that close. So now, uh, fashioning off our uh, old 2x4 that I found in the back for my angles, I am uh, pretty happy. Just going to pick you up. Oops. So there's our, uh, our finished piece uh, with the bracket on and that's what it looks like underneath so I'm going to just get my angle grinder and cut those bolts off so they don't uh, snag on anybody's clothing or anything like that and then the reason why we had a little bit of room to maneuver on the length was I wanted a little heel where this touches the ground I wanted something to dig in but not too much so I just cut that little heel uh, in the bot in the base at the other end that would that end will hit the ground same with the other one there So I'm pretty happy and I got my 90 my 90 degrees here or Almost 90 degrees So I'm pretty pretty pleased I put them on the truck and they work great, but I am just going to cut this uh, Studs off these four bolts just in front of the camera now <laughs> This me this uh, camera has a magnetic mount. That's kind of neat. So we'll put one down. Turn this one over.
Okay, so now we are going to cut these, these two studs off this one and the two studs off the other one and then we'll just flap this one too. So I just always need a reference point for my hand. Switch to the flat disc. Now a flat disc. This is a used one here, and this is a new one, and it's just like nasty sandpaper overlapping each other that you put in a grinder, and you can go to town. It's like a super filing system. I need my core. I hate this time of year because everything is so muddy. Makes a clean shop look dirty. So here we go. finished. So that last one was a little bit longer so I had to take more off of it. But there's absolutely, whoops, pardon me. There's absolutely no rough spots on those. So that'll be a great ramp. I might just set them up on the truck and show you how they work. Okay folks, so here's my ramp. Up and into the truck. And they're actually at the, the perfect angle. There's a tiny bit of gap there, but not enough to make any difference because when you put weight on the track, the, the gap closes. So, and the ramp, the approach on the apron of the garage is also sloped downward. So, it'll take some variance. So I'm really, really happy with those. And there's my little heels that I've cut out. Whoops. So once again, thanks for watching. There's my destroyed shop. Get her all cleaned up now.